Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you media item volume control in Reaper. Now, the idea of controlling a volume on a media item by item basis can be really powerful. We could change the volume of this vocal right here against this one. Let's say this piece right here is too low. We could bring it up right here or we'll bring it down to make it sound better in the mix. And we could do all this without running automation or using envelopes. So it's a much quicker way of working if you just want to quickly make this volume a bit lower right here. Now, if you've watched my videos, you'll see that I always have this little button right here, which controls the volume of each item. But that's not on by default. The default behavior can be seen in the preferences. Now, right down over here under appearance, there's a section called media. If we choose that, right down over here is where we adjust the media item volume by dragging. I have it set to this using an item volume knob, but the default is right here using the top edge of the item. So let's put it back to this. And then what you get is if we take our cursor and go to the top of any item, the tool changes. See right there? And now we can grab it and pull it down. And that changes the volume of this item. Let's do the same with this one. So you can still control the volume without having that button there. But if you notice, we can't make it louder. We can bring it down, but we can't go above zero. At least not without changing a preference. By default, you can't go above zero. But if we go down to the tab over here called Media, we can adjust that over here. The default is to go from infinity to zero, which is the range we can use. But we can also choose this option, which goes from infinity to plus six. So if we choose this, all the items have the volume in the middle. So we can still bring it down, but we can also bring it up. So if it's too low, we could bring it up, or if it's too loud, we could bring it down. But my personal preference is to use the volume knob, which is right over here, which removes the line right here, and we can just adjust it right here. And if you want to bring it back to zero, just double click it, and it goes back to the default, which is no change. But if you also notice, when it's back at zero, we don't see the level. It doesn't show up over here, it only shows up at least by default, if we bring it down or up, letting us know that we made the change. So we can bring it down or up on any one of our items. And we can do multiple items at the same time. Let's bring this back to zero and just select them both. And we can adjust them together and double click it to put them back. Now, to give you an idea of how we could use this while editing our track, let's say we're working on this vocal here. And this line right here is lower than this one. We could run automation or create an envelope, but it's a bit quicker just to split this right here, hit S, and then adjust this item here against this one. Now, I should mention, when you split an item like this, it's going to fade out and fade in. So if you split it in a section where you don't want to hear that silence, we should change a preference. Let's undo that, go to our preferences, and go over here to media item defaults, and choose this one right here. Overlap and crossfade items when splitting. So if we choose this, instead of it fading out and fading in, it puts in a crossfade. So it'll sound smoother during the transition of a volume changes. So again, we split that, then we can change the volume of this to match this. Just bring it up. I mean, you should do it by ear, not by how it looks, but it's a lot quicker to do it using the volume control on our items. And we just go through by splitting this one and this one, 
and adjusting our volume for the best sound in our mix. And I should also mention that when we adjust it here, this is pre-effects. So if you have any plugins on your track, like a compressor or any Dynamics plugin, it's going to affect how it's being hit. So be aware of that. If you change it over here, it's a pre-effects volume. So it's a good idea to do this before you put a compressor or any dynamic plugins on that track. Because it's going to change the threshold or how much is being compressed. But it's still a good idea to go through and fine tune your tracks so it's hitting your compressor with an even volume. So if you see things that are a bit too low, like this, you can just split them, bring them up, and they'll be more even when they hit the compressor or any Dynamics plugin that's on the track. And like I said earlier, you could use envelopes to do the same thing. We can go right over here and create a pre-effect volume envelope right here. And we could do a similar thing, just draw to adjust the volume of that vocal piece, which does allow us to tweak it more, but it's also a bit more time consuming. If you want to make a quick adjustment, it's a lot quicker to just split it, to create a new item, and adjust it here. And again, you could do it with this knob, or the default, you could use the upper edge over here and do the same thing. So that's pretty much it. That's the media item volume control in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.